What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World. And I've been getting a lot of questions about this free Jalen Ramsey, the free Nick Chubb, and all these other things that is going to be part of the Derwin James vs. the World. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the welcome pack that everybody should have gotten by now. So if you're watching this video, it should have been unlocked on your console or PC by now. If it has not been, you're going to want to go ahead and check with EA, uh, eahelp.com um, and go ahead and file a claim or contact them on Twitter at eahelp. And see what's going on with it so pretty much what's going on is this right you're gonna be eligible to get a free card from just watching twitch all right so pretty much you're gonna have to tune in for two hours each night starting 8 p.m uh eastern standard time it's, on, it's gonna be on tuesdays right um at the finale of this you're gonna get also a 97 overall Duran james now for me i don't have my account linked um to twitch for twitch drops or anything like that i'm just giving you guys the information so you're going to need to do five, you're going to have to turn in five crowns for one of the three Nat 90 overall players, which we're going to go take a look at in a second. All right. So pretty much right now you're getting one. All right. So everybody should start off with one and be able to go ahead and just, you know, watch it for another couple of weeks, get yourself a 90 overall. And um, it does go into the power ups. For those of you guys that were asking about that, um, all of these cards will go into their existing power ups. All right. So this is the way it's going to work. Once you get that welcome pack, you're going to go over there and check out the sets and see exactly what's going on with it. And then you're going to go from there. So if you guys miss the first one, I don't know how they're going to go about giving the players, um, you know, that crown back. Because pretty much what was happening is with Good Morning Madden, uh, they usually give you guys this information. So pretty much with the way that it started off, I don't know, maybe some people will be able to go and contact EA and get one of the tokens because... You know, maybe you didn't know about the first day and EA told us about it and released it on the same day of the actual launch, which doesn't make any sense because you don't have a chance uh, to prepare for it. So um, with that situation, I will contact if this is something that you're going to be able to do. If you get Twitch drops, you know, by joining streams and stuff like that, then this will be something that's valuable to you. Maybe you should go and create a claim and then try to get that, uh, you know, that token so that way you can uh, be updated because I think most people are going to do it that way because they weren't aware of the way it was and EA just told us um, on the exact same day. So pretty much one of the fan favorites of it is going to be Jalen Ramsey, right? He's one of the fan favorites. Everybody's asking about him. Nobody really cares about Keenan Allen. I haven't heard anybody ask about uh, Keenan Allen. Uh, Nick Chubb in my pants, you know, maybe, you know, he might be a guy that you might want to go ahead and check out. But Jalen Ramsey has been the top guy. All right, so we're going to go with, I, I don't have anything else to do with the crown. So I'm just going to add it in here. More than likely, I'm not going to be able to finish it because I didn't watch uh, the stream and um, I'm not going to be watching uh, the stream. You guys can have it on in the background and stuff like that. But um, for me, like I said, I don't have my account linked to Twitch uh, for, for those drops and stuff. So it doesn't apply for me. But I know a lot of you guys are already, uh, you already have your accounts linked uh, with Twitch. So you might as well go after it. Uh, a lot of you guys, when you're, you know, you watch Good Morning Madden and they give you the information about getting free packs and stuff like that, you guys are already linked with it. Okay. But for me, it, I, I don't do Like, I don't have time to be in people's stream trying to get Twitch drops. So, look, man, it is what it is. So pretty much right now, you guys can figure out what you want to do. This Derwin James Master or whatever. You know, that's in February of next year. So it's not like the 97 overall, you're gonna get it right away. It's not that type of deal. So I wouldn't really worry about it too much. There's gonna be a lot of other cards that, you know, probably will be suitable. Um, but a 97 overall in February should be pretty decent because you know what, in December, you're gonna be getting more 96s, 97s, stuff like that. The overall start to raise. And I know a lot of you guys were like, yo, wow, 97 overall, oh my God. But yeah. It's February, dude. So it's going to be, bro, the Christmas promo was usually the sickest promo of month. So after that's over, a lot of the cards that come after that won't even compare to what we just got. That's usually how it rolls. Like EA gets straight bankroll in the, um, you know, the Christmas season. So as far as these cards go, like I said to you guys before, Jalen Ramsey might be one of those cards that you should go after. But just remember, let me point out a couple of things so you guys understand. If you don't get Twitch drops and you refuse to watch the show, or for whatever reason, you don't really care, just remember, there's always going to be another version of that same exact card. Because e this is the way that EA gets viewership, right? So people have to have ways to get guys to tune in um, and watch the program just to make sure that they get the numbers that they're supposed to have and stuff like that. So with the way that that is, it doesn't really matter about the fact that you're not going to watch that. Jalen Ramsey is still going to get another card that's similar to that card. All right, so what does that mean? 
What it means is by the time that that card is given away from the crowns with a free, he's already going to have another 90 overall card. So it's not like you're going to be missing out on anything. You're not going to be like, oh my God, if I don't do this, I won't get it. There is an alternative. You can always wait until they give you another version of it. If you guys go back to other Maddens that they specifically use, you know, Twitch drops and things like that for, there was always an alternative way to get that same exact card. Okay? So because of that, you guys have to understand that there are specific things that go on within Mutt that is always going to give you a duplicate of that card because everybody can't participate in specific promos. Like I stated before, I like, bro, I found out about the same day. I'm not about to sit up there and be watching that. Like, bro, look, it is what it is, okay? It's a way for you guys to go ahead and get the free cards and stuff like that. But if you, right now, right, he, for me, he's an 85 speed right now, okay? He's not going to help me right now for what I want to do. He's going to get burnt deep for six every chance he gets. So he sucks right now. The 90 overall may bring him up to about 87, 88 speed. Is that enough? Probably if you're able to get a suitable press. But by that time he gets a 90, I'm thinking Randy Moss going to be in the game. Like it's going to be Calvin Johnson. Like it's going to be a lot of faster players in the game. So will he be useful to us? Yo, know, it's very, very tough to say right now. Okay, but a lot of you guys were very, very interested in going after him. And that you can see his power is, you know, pretty, you know, costly. And this card right here is pretty suitable for 85 overall. But he, he's not going to be able to do much for you. Uh, realistically speaking, he's going to get burnt deep for six by anybody that's super fast. It doesn't really matter. So if you guys want to go after it and you've already joined in and you've been watching the stream, continue to do so and get everything you can for free. I always advocate for that because I know a lot of you guys, even with the way that we've been seeing that a lot of this is like, yo, bro, you got to spend money. We've still, most of us have still been able to maintain our dignity and been able to, you know, play the game and open a few bundles, but not go crazy every week and continue to, um, you know, make our teams a lot better. So with, with that being said, we're going to probably, you know, more of you guys are going to focus on that than any other card. You're going to focus on Jalen Ramsey because of the name. I'm just letting you guys understand, even if you're not able to go ahead and get that, it won't really matter. And let me explain to you what's going on, because I'm telling you guys that you're going to get burnt deep for six. And a lot of you guys are probably like, yo, what do you mean? You know, he got good press. He got good zone. He got good man. It doesn't really matter. You see these two guys right here, AJ Terrell and Trey Waynes. You see the thing about these guys, they are, look, if you put these guys in a zone, it doesn't matter how fast the guy is on the other side. They're going to be somewhere around it simply because they're that fast. All right. So I know they're 84 overalls. There's zone coverage. He has an 80. This guy, Trey Waynes, has a 76. It sucks. But these guys are not going to get burnt just straight up over the top. You have to either press and get beat with a press, uh, you know, a beat press animation, or you have to just be playing a coverage that doesn't make any sense for you to get burnt over the top. Because if you play over the top, they usually don't give it up. All right. So you look at Jalen Ramsey's speed and it goes to 85. Even though it looks very appealing to you, it would make more sense to get a team builder and start with them until you get somebody else's suitable speed. Rod Woodson is faster, but he costs a lot. Like there's a lot of different ways you can go about it. I just want to make sure that I'm very, very clear with it. It is a dangerous thing to go after him right now. The 90 overall, like I said, will probably be about 87, 88 speed. And at that time, he probably will be obsolete still because there will be faster cards in the game. But I'm just letting you guys know it's going to be an opportunity to get that free card and to continue to build your team. And obviously, it is not, so you can't really do much with it after that. So if you guys are interested in going, you know, going after that, Nick Chubb, the running backs, I got Barry Sanders, I got Bo Jackson. Like, I'm not thinking about Nick Chubb in my pants, dude. And then you got Keenan Allen. Like, come on, bro. If I want a guy to run a slant, I'll probably get Michael Thomas, bro. Like, he does, he's not going to have speed, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not really caring about, oh, yeah, route running. No. I see dudes out there just throwing streaks, and it's just ridiculous. Like, I told you guys, the speed aspect has been nerfed in a lot of different ways, but you have to understand, with a lot of different route concepts, you people are still throwing streaks every snap. It doesn't really matter. You know, you got your drag underneath. You got a slant underneath out underneath but people are throwing streaks and if your players are not fast enough you're getting burned deep for six so you guys decide what you want to do that's the information that i have for you guys right now please look out for more content coming very soon i'm gonna see you guys and girls next time you have an unbelievable day until next time one love y'all